this time, the chair recognizes Councilman Squilla, who will present a resolution recognizing the 85th anniversary of the Ukrainian genocide of 1932 through 1933. Would Yulana Masarkevich and those accompanying her please join the councilman at the podium? And joining Councilman Squilla, we have Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Dom. And Councilwoman Gim. Good to see you. Let everybody come up. Good morning. Today we'd like to do a, a resolution recognizing the 85th anniversary of the Ukrainian genocide from 1932 to 1933. Whereas the Ukrainian community of Greater Philadelphia, a dynamic community with many organizations and institutions in, sad, in sadness commemorating the 85th anniversary of the Ukrainian genocide, 85 years ago the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin has the totalitarian regime committed an act of genocide through an implementation of engineered famine confiscating land, grain, and animals from the Ukrainian people, resulting in the deaths of up to 10 million innocent men, women, and children. Whereas this genocide, whole old the more, meaning murder by starvation, was specifically designed by the Soviet regime to punish independent-minded Ukrainians for their resistance to its economic, political, and social oppression. And whereas at the height of Hola de Moor in 1933, Ukrainians died at the rate of 25,000 a day, with nearly a third of its victims being children less than 10 years old. And whereas even as the Soviets continued to export Ukraine's grain to the rest of the world, Ukrainian farmers who tended to the farms in the breadbasket of the USSR were tragically starved to a slow and painful death. And whereas hundreds of archival KGB documents created during this genocide detailed and described the Soviet regime's actions and intention to destroy Ukraine's national identity by deporting and executing Ukraine's religious, intellectual, and cultural leaders, prosecuting or executing any others who dared to speak of the famine or to speak against the Soviet authorities publicly, further destabilizing Ukraine's political structure and Whereas under the global theme, Ukraine remembers, the world acknowledges. It is necessary that the Ukrainian genocide Holodomor, 1932 to 1933, be officially recognized by the global community as a tragic and heinous crime against humanity to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia that we hereby designate the month of November 2018 as Ukrainian Genocide Remembrance Month in Philadelphia. Further resolve that this engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to Alma Skovanich, President, Ukrainian Community, Commun uh, Community Committee of Philadelphia, further evidence the sincere sentiment of this legislative body. Thank you. Congratulations. And the chair recognizes Ms. Um, Masakovich for remarks. Thank you. Thank you, council people. Thank you very much for this resolution. As was said, 85 years ago, Ukraine's borders were closed. And slowly, slowly, Moscow implemented a famine, a genocidal famine, which totaled 7 million deaths. The playbook of Moscow continues today. They denied, denied, denied that a famine was raging in a country that was known as the breadbasket of Europe. All the foodstuffs were being taken out of Ukraine. Millions were dying daily. As we said, a total of over 7 million. So I call upon you today we are having 
a commemoration of this heinous, tragic event. We, were having, we are having the commemoration at one o'clock at the mayor's reception room. There is a fantastic telling exhibit on the Hala Domod. It is a mouthful, Hala Domod, famine by starvation. And we urge you, please, to come and show solidarity with Ukraine and with Ukraine's people. As was noted, the Ukrainian community in Philadelphia is a very vibrant, dynamic group. And the ambassador of Ukraine will be attending this event. So please, come down to the mayor's reception room at one o'clock and show your solidarity with Ukraine and its people. Thank you. Thank you, Council Beatties.